Why don't you take a look at some numbers right now? These stats are presented, of course, by Geico. Over the course of his career, Josh Edgens had a lot of success against lefties. He's kept them right around that Mendoza line. As the Mets bullpen stands right now, Edgen potentially will be a key contributor in that role in 2017. And Josh, kind enough to give us a few minutes on the phone right now. Josh, appreciate it. Uh, you are now almost two years removed from having that Tommy John surgery. As you look back on, on the long climb to get yourself back, what did you learn about yourself on that grind? Uh, if I had to put it in one word, it would be patience. <laughs> You know, that's, that's not necessarily a, a good thing. Well, for me growing up, I never really had a lot of it. And uh, it kind of, you know, you had to grind, ground yourself when, when you had something like that done. So, yeah, I would, I would say patience and, and just, you know, learning how to relax. So. In, in terms of grounding yourself or, or relaxing, I assume what you're talking about is the days when maybe things aren't going as well or you feel like you're taking a couple steps forward and then a couple of steps back in those moments as you really you know try and get back who is the person or who are the people that you relied on for that support well <clears throat> you know my mom and dad i would talk to them every now and then but i mean they didn't quite understand as far as you know, I couldn't tell them exactly what was going on with my elbow. Uh, my wife and kids were down here with me, and I, I would say my wife really, uh, you know, really helped me get through it and just realize that, hey, there's light at the end of the tunnel either way, you know, whether it, whether it be baseball or whether it be something else. So, you know, it was just, uh, yeah, some of those some of those midsummer days, you know, about five months removed from surgery, it was it was tough. So. What were the biggest hurdles, physical hurdles or mental hurdles? Uh, that's a combination of both, to be honest with you. Uh, I guess some physical hurdles, you know, I wasn't allowed to do any gripping stuff, so therefore I, it was tough for me to say no to my kids when they wanted me to, wanted me to pick them up or something like that. You know, it was, uh, I don't know. I would say the biggest part of it was, was probably – just not being able to do what you normally do and it really put a damper on the way that I live my life so so when you uh, look at when, when you look back on things and you know obviously we're talking about that grind and and how tough it is to get back to where you want to be but ultimately you've gotten there and it took a, a while but you get back up not just pitching but back to the major leagues at the end of last season you get into 16 games at the end of last season from that mental standpoint from the confidence standpoint just how important was it for you to get back to the Mets to the majors and to get in some games there oh man it was it was that was the light at the end of the tunnel you know that's that's what the whole I don't know how long it was a year and eight and year and six months or however long I was out you know the ultimate goal at the end of that end of the situation was to get to get back to the Mets and I think that uh, it was just not necessarily a sigh of relief but it was I can still do this you know this is this is why I'm why I had the surgery to begin with this is what I do so well, one of the things you do so well is, is get lefties out, and we showed the stats right before we had you on. Uh, over the course of your career, lefties hitting just 201. Why do you think you have had such exceptional success at times against lefties? Well, Steve, if I told you, man, it wouldn't be a secret. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, <laughs> well, then uh, what, what are we having you on here for? All right? Um, I, I just think, you know, arm angle, uh, the, the way it's I don't know. I, I stand on the first base side of the rubber. You know, it's it's tough for lefties to pick it up. It looks like the ball might be coming at them at that time. I, you know, I, I can't really pinpoint why I do it. I think it's just, you know, something that I, you know, that's what I have to do to stay there. So I, I got to keep keep doing it. So. That, was, that was a good answer. We'll take that. <laughs> we'll take it, Josh. Uh, I'll let you go after, after one more thing here. Just basic. What are your personal expectations as you head into 2017? Uh, you know, stick with the club and, and have a, I, I had a pretty decent year when I was up there in 2014 and I, I kind of want to, uh, pick, a, pick, pick back up where I left off, you know, don't, don't put too much pressure on myself and just, uh, pitch the way I know how to pitch, you know, um, I can get lefties out and that's, you know, that's what I plan on doing and the elbow's good to go and, and, uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. 
Well, Josh, I know you've been uh, down in Port St. Lucie for a little while now, and I'm sure it can get pretty monotonous. Don't worry, though. Uh, myself and the rest of the media will be joining you soon enough, and I know yeah. you're all excited about that. Steve, I'm pumped for you to get here, man. <laughs> Me too, man. All right, have a, have a great uh, next couple of weeks, and, or a week and a half, and then I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks for coming on. All right, sounds good. Thank you.